OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to use the pivot by function referring to data in multiple worksheets. So I've got a data set in each of these worksheets, one for sales on the web, then for store, then for account holder, and then international. So what I would do, first step is to put each of these data sets in an Excel table. This would just make it a lot easier to refer to in our formula. So to do that, you click anywhere in your data, control T, click on OK, and then give the table a name. So I'm gonna call this TBL underscore web. Press enter to store the name. Then I'm gonna do the same for store, control T, click on OK, TBL underscore store. And I'll do the same for the other sheets. So now I've completed that task, the pivot by report I want to create needs to show the revenue per product group per customer type. So let's hop across to this blank sheet here and I'm going to start my pivot by formula. So row fields. So what I want is the customer type as row fields and I need to refer to each of the sheets to get the relevant row field. So I'm going to use VStack to do this. VStack will vertically stack the relevant columns from each of these sheets. So array one will be from the table account holder table. And I'm looking at the customer type column, comma, and then I need to extract the same column from the international table. and also for the other tables. Then I close the bracket for VStack, and then I'm onto coal fields. So in the columns, I'm gonna have the different product groups. So I'm gonna to have to VStack the product group column in each of these tables as well. And then I close the bracket for VStack, comma. Then the next argument is values, and the values is gonna be the revenue field in each of the tables. So we need to VStack that as well. And I'll close the bracket for VStack in the values argument, comma. And then the function very simply is gonna be sum. And then I'm just gonna close the bracket and press enter and you can see that it does all of those calculations for me. Now, personally, I think that method creates a very long formula because you're having to refer to the table columns essentially four times. So what I would be inclined to do is actually create a VStack version of all of the data on a separate sheet. So I'll show you what I mean. Now I will need to copy the column headings and then I'm going to use VStack to essentially stack all those tables together. Just by listing them within the VStack formula and it creates a table that includes all the information from all those different sheets. Do need to format the date column as a date. Now, because each of the data sets are in a table, if I was to add additional records to any of these tables, this combined version of the data would automatically update. So now I can create my pivot by report over here in column F. Now the row field is gonna be customer type. And the way to refer to that is to use the choose coals function. Now my array originates from cell A2, where I wrote my VStack formula. So I refer to the spilled array of values by referring to that cell and then placing a hash after that cell address. You can see it selects the entire data set there. And the column that I want to return the values from is the third column, the customer type column. Then the coal fields again uses choose coals, open bracket, 
and the array again is a2 hash and this time the column position is column two the product group column close bracket now the values are in the fourth column so let's choose calls again fourth column and the function is sum then if i close the bracket and press enter you can see it produces the same pivot by report but the formula compared to the original is much much simpler and indeed shorter okay that's all i wanted to cover in this particular video hopefully that's useful if it is please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next video